one. All right, Brian Waters here with the Leopard Claw. We're gonna do some soft treatment on the shoulder and we're gonna use some field foam for the lubricant. Uh, what I like about this is it's got uh, silver in it, colloidal silver, so it also disinfects. So a lot of times when you use these tools, you put cocoa butter on them, whatever, and you have to wipe them off, and then you have to disinfect them separately. So this does it all in one time, and you just take it with you, this is all I need. Um, so uh, a lot of times uh, what we'll see with shoulders is a lot of tendonitis. So we'll get some pain here in the front of the shoulder. Uh, it could be from the bicep, could be from the rotator cuff, could be from all these different things. Uh, I'm gonna show you kind of a generalized uh, kind of scraping method for it. So we'll put some of this field foam on. I like to put it on the tool, actually, but you can just put it directly on the skin. Uh, and kind of work it in. So remember, first, we're going to kind of detect if we feel any adhesions. So right now, best thing about this tool is we have some good leverage here. I don't have to strain my wrist or fingers or anything like that. So I typically start with the delt. So we're gonna do a little bit of the delt first. You can start to see it get a little red. So I'm detecting, there's a spot right there. I have a little knot. So now we're gonna desensitize the area. So speed up a little bit, get it red. And now I'm gonna put a little bit more on this one here. Now we can degristle. So now we'll just get a little bit more gristle in there. And again, I'm not straining to get this done. Uh, a lot of other tools I'll have to really you know, stress my other shoulder, then I'm working on that thing. Or I have to do something weird with my fingers. Uh, here, I have a good grip on the tool and a pretty good authority here. And then the angle is giving me enough leverage uh, to really get into that tissue. So we'll do some delt. Now we'll get into the anterior delt, into the front of that. And you can really get in there with the tip of that tool, which is nice. It was a little grisly there. So once you're good at this, you can desensitize while you're kind of uh, detecting kind of at the same time. So what's nice about this is you don't have to have a separate tool to scan. You just kind of get in there with the same tool and start treating it. Now let's get to the bicep a little bit. So again, I'm focusing a lot on the front of the shoulder. We'll get into the back of the shoulder here in a second. And a lot of times I'll add a little bit of flexion and extension, not just to show off the bicep here, but to treat it. And really make sure to get into the top of this. This is where it gets a little sensitive. If it feels sketchy, it is sketchy. So back off a little bit if you have to. And again, I'm not treating this more than three times a week. Give it a good 48 hours in between especially if there's any bruising. We don't want, our intent, intent is not to really significantly bruise it. It's just to treat it, make it feel a little bit better. Now we'll get into the trap, because remember, part of the rotator cuff is right underneath that trap. And this is where I really like this. I can really get into that trap, and I'll shrug and drop my shoulder. Again, adding that extra little movement, which is helpful. And again, I'm not straining the shoulder. And we can get levator scap by looking down and kind of dropping the shoulder. Yeah, let me put a little more on there. So I'm kind of detecting and desensitizing all in one here. There's a good spot. So I'll pin it and I'll look up and down. Good. So that's basically how I treat the shoulder. Uh, a lot of little pieces in there that are important. Uh, that we can cover just using this tool kind of all around. So there you go. Thanks.